Here's national correspondent Christine Frizzell now. Friends describe Stephen Sotloff as devoted to his family, friends, and career, almost to a fault. Like journalist James Foley, Sotloff's life came to a halt for the world to see in a video. He had to pay for our freedom in some respect uh, with his life. And so for that, Steve Sotloff's a hero. It was only a week ago when President Barack Obama said he had no strategy for dealing with the Islamic State. Now the president says the United States will degrade and destroy ISIL. We will not be intimidated. Their horrific acts only unite us as a country and stiffen our resolve to take the fight against these terrorists. And those who make the mistake of harming Americans will learn that we will not forget and that our reach is long and that justice will be served. But critics, like the government watchdog group Judicial Watch, want to know just how many more Americans will have to die before the U.S. takes demonstrable action. The administration perhaps finds itself in an awkward position, and they don't wish to either highlight or in any way sort of embroider or expand upon what's already an admittedly bad position. A position Farrell says is downright scary, considering the vulnerabilities at the U.S. border. Farrell says his sources are telling him that ISIS is already in Mexico, possibly planning to attack the U.S. These are certified bad guys who are on a mission to do bad things. And the world has witnessed that not once, but twice. The next time it might be somebody that you know might be getting uh, executed in a barbaric manner if our government doesn't step in and do the right thing, which is eradicate uh, this Islamic state of, of terror. I'm Christine Frizzell, Fox 17 News.